Hi, I'm Andrew Wasson. Thanks for joining me for my weekly guitar blog. It's September 21st, 2014, and this week our guitar lesson will be on harmonic minor scale licks. And this week's question was sent in from Cliff. He's out in Eugene, Oregon, and he wrote in with this email. I recently watched your video titled Understanding the Harmonic Minor Scale, and it really helped me with getting the basics down for harmonic minors theory. But now that I've started to get into trying to actually use the harmonic minor, I'm finding that I have trouble at developing Developing licks with it. Would you consider making another video dedicated to licks of the harmonic minor scale? From Cliff in Eugene, Oregon, USA. Well, hey, thanks for writing in, Cliff. Uh, you know, even though uh, harmonic minor scale is just a natural minor scale with a raised seventh degree, its application when composing or improvising isn't as straightforward as one might expect. You know, most of this has to do with the fact that harmonic minor is generally applied to cover the appearance of some specific harmonic content. Not all the time, but it's one of the main ways that it gets used. And this means for us that uh, we would find ourselves uh, needing to cover the use of chords that uh, show up for perhaps only one measure or even less. So let's head to the guitar and run down a few licks that will work when we need to cover situations involving uh, harmonic ideas with the harmonic minor scale. Well, I'd like to begin with a lick that covers the appearance of a major chord based upon a minor key's fifth harmonic degree. Now, using the key of B minor and uh, having the lick uh, cover the appearance of uh, B minor's uh, major five chord, which would wind up being an F sharp major chord, I can come up with a guitar lick that would uh, just uh, perfectly cover the appearance of that F sharp uh, major uh, using, of course, the B harmonic minor scale. So I came up with a guitar lick here. It's primarily all uh, 16th notes. It goes like this. Here it is again a little faster. Okay, here it is a little bit faster yet. And what I'm going to do next is place the guitar lick into a chord progression so we can hear how the lick sounds over the appropriate chord in this minor key. So I have a progression I'm going to use. It's uh, basically a B minor progression. I'm going to use some small triads built off the fourth guitar strings. Got a B, ma a B minor to an A major. It starts off. And then I'm going to move over to an E minor. And then head down into the F sharp uh, major. So the progression is going to be really straightforward, just like that. And over that F sharp minor, uh, that or F sharp major chord, pardon me, we're going to use the harmonic minor scale. So I've got this progression already recorded into my loop pedal, and uh, the guitar lick is going to, of course, appear on bar four. So let's go through it. Okay, here it comes. One more time. Okay, here it comes. For the next situation, uh, I'm going to be applying harmonic minor over top of a dominant seventh chord. Uh, we'll be staying in the same key of uh, B minor, and uh, to begin with, uh, the guitar lick is uh, going to be a little bit different. We're going to start uh, with some pickup notes off of the uh, fourth beat of the previous measure. So as we would count in, we'd have uh, one, two, three. And then you know, we move to the next measure to resolve. Uh, so let me go through that guitar lick one more time. I'll count into it, and you can hear it come in with those pickups. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. 
So what's happening over top of the chord progression, I have a, a B minor chord progression I want to apply the lick on, uh, and uh, the pickup note idea will begin on the fourth beat, as I mentioned, of the uh, second measure of this progression. And then we're just going to carry on throughout the third measure to cover uh, that uh, appearance of the chord, which uh, is the F sharp dominant seventh, which is the one that covers the sound of the harmonic minor. And then uh, basically we're going to resolve the progression to take it to a B minor chord. So uh, basically the progression is going to be pretty straightforward. We'll have a B minor in the first measure, and then we'll move to E minor triad in the second measure. Then on that third measure, that's where we have our F sharp dominant seventh chord, where we get to use harmonic minor, and then we resolve it on that fourth measure back to the uh, tonal center chord of B minor once again. So where we're going to have, you know, just to clarify one more time, uh, the guitar lick is it's going to occur on the fourth beat of the second measure. So the E minor chord will come in. It'll go one and two and three. And then we'll, you know, in that last note I'm hitting is taking us back to the B minor. So I think you get a much better impression of this when I, I fire up the loop track and you get a chance to hear how this thing sounds with the uh, uh, chord progression in the background and then, of course, the guitar lick over top of it. So let's do that right now. Here we go. Here comes now. One, two, three. And then there's that last chord. Let's do it one more time. Okay, here's the second measure. One, two, three. Okay, I'll do it one more time again. I just won't count it out. Well, the final idea I wanted to cover is applying harmonic minor over a minor 2-5 progression. Now, if you're not familiar with this idea where we have a uh, minor 7 flat 5 and a dominant 7th occurring on the 2nd and the 5th degrees of a minor key, it's a very popular idea in both jazz and a lot of Latin music. And, uh, you know, you'll find uh, Carlos Santana playing this kind of stuff. It's in a lot of jazz numbers as well. But uh, the cool thing is the second degree chord in the case of B minor, it's a C sharp. Uh, it contains uh, in both the natural minor harmony as well as the harmonic minor harmony. It's contained as uh, both minor 7 flat 5 uh, or half diminished in uh, both those scales. Now, uh, the fifth degree is kind of unique though. Uh, having a dominant seventh chord there is directly from the harmony of harmonic minor scale. So it's kind of a really unique sound. But uh, it just means that, you know, we could use the uh, harmonic minor scale to cover both those chords. Because, you know, in effect, the minor seven flat five is shared. It's in both natural minor and harmonic minor. So we could use the harmonic minor scale still on that chord. Uh, then it really comes to life on that uh, dominant seventh because that's uh, you know, exclusive to the harmony of harmonic minor. So I've got a guitar lick here uh, I put together to cover a two-bar phrase of those, uh, both those chords. It goes like this. Real simple lick. It's all just straight eighth notes. I'll play it for you one more time. So, you know, it's really important to understand, you know, the reasons why this harmonic minor lick is going to work to cover both of the chords. And it's really because of the connection that it has to the actual harmony of uh, harmonic minor scale itself. You know, so when the harmonic minor scale is harmonized into seventh chords, we end up with a second and fifth harmonic degree of being a minor seven flat five and the dominant seventh chord qualities. So, you know, keep this in mind. If you're ever in the position where you need to perform a lead over a minor key two five change, uh, because uh, using the harmonic minor is going to be a great sound, fits perfectly over the harmony. And uh, I already have a key of a B minor chord progression using seventh chord harmony recorded in the loop pedal. So let's fire that loop up and hear how our harmonic minor lick sounds uh, on those second and um, third bar, or sorry, uh, third and fourth bars. I'll call it out as we go, but uh, let's fire that loop up and uh, check it out. So that's measure one, measure two, and here's the lick. So measure one again, measure two, and here's measure three. Play it 
one more time. Well, harmonic minor scale is a great sound when it comes to minor key melody ideas. And when we find situations like a major or a dominant seventh five chord in a minor key progression, we can apply the sound of harmonic minor scale built from the same root note as the key center. And we can create some really cool guitar licks to cover the appearance of those chords. Also, whenever we're playing over a minor key two five, which is popular with a lot of jazz and Latin numbers, the harmonic minor can pull us through once again. But it sure doesn't end there. See, when you experiment with harmonic minor in all kinds of other minor key environments, you're going to find you can make up some pretty cool guitar licks for almost every one of them using the very versatile sounds of this scale. Anyway, that's about all the time I have for today. As always, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great week, and we'll catch up with you next time. Bye for now.